Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video of the Sitka Creek Boat Rebuild. In today's video, there's going to be lots of welding. So, I have got to figure out how to flip this boat over and start welding the strakes on. So, I'm going to start cleaning up some things, organize a little bit, and we're going to flip this sucker over and do a bunch of grinding along the hole there on each side and start fitting up the strakes and hopefully tacking them on and then uh, get the welder over here and start banging this out that's today's video let's get to it it's gonna be a lot of work a lot of welding hopefully after I get through uh, welding all those I will be a lot better at the uh, TIG welding process. So, all right, here we go. So, a little catch up video here. Welding on the strakes to the boat. I have been battling this for the past 24 hours. Many decisions have been made. So, at first, this first strake, I TIG welded it. And it took a long time. Um, I'm not very good at the TIG welding process, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, it's definitely structural, but it just takes me forever. Uh, like I said, I probably spent four hours welding that one straight. So I was on a mission to get a spool gun for my Millermatic 255. Well, mission complete. I found one used on Marketplace. I was a little sketchy about it at first. But went and got it, and let me tell you what, I am in business now. Okay, this right there, that's yesterday's TIG process. Okay, this little section right here, from there to there, is my first five minutes welding with this damn thing. It looks pretty dang good. Obviously a little boo-boo right there, because I didn't have my voltage up enough. So then we come up here, this little section from there to there 
is spool gun. I'm five minutes into this and it looks freaking amazing. And that took five seconds. That little area right there took five minutes. Needless to say, ladies and gentlemen, I am in business. I'm pretty happy. I've been stressing for the past 24 hours trying to figure out a economical solution. Because I wasn't going to go buy a new damn spool gun for $2,600. I was wanting to find something used on Marketplace. I found something. I made a deal. Really good piece of equipment, obviously. It works flawlessly. It hasn't been used much. And I am just stoked. So, setting up the time lapse. And we are well done some strikes, ladies and gentlemen. And then I can turn this dang boat back over. And uh, I don't know. I'm just super stoked that it worked out. That spool gun is a game changer. Sure, TIG process is probably better. Maybe. I don't know. I'm sure making it look pretty dang good myself. So here we go, boys. Let's go. spool gun process is great so I have now finished the starboard side strake it took literally 45 minutes that one over there took me a half day so with a little bit of due diligence I've come up with a great solution to get this done faster and with these Miller products, which are working pretty good, I uh, barely had to tweak with it off of auto set. And we are seeing, we are producing pretty good spool gun welds. So I'm gonna time lapse the two middle strakes, and we are going to get this done. it up for welding on the strakes on the bottom of the creek boat. The spool gun was an absolute unit and game changer. I knocked these other three strakes out super quick, maybe like an hour and a half total on all three versus the four hours it took to do the one. So now we're gonna flip the boat back over. I'll clean up a little bit and get it back sitting on its cradle.
strakes done. Boat flipped back over onto the homemade cradle. Shop cleaned up a little bit. Waiting on parts from New Zealand that will hopefully be here tomorrow. So, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I think that that will do it for this video, which will be the second video of the Rebuild Updates Hickory Creek Boat Series. And for that, we will see y'all in the next one.